breaking details here. We just spoke to a witness. We're going to hear from that person momentarily if we can get that sound into the newscast. Um, I can tell you, aside from those incredible images from uh, Scott Reif, uh, you can see we are on the 105 westbound right now. And what is really now just the shell of that tanker truck that is left burning on the freeway this morning. We have LA County fire crews on the ground. And as Scott mentioned, really kind of letting this thing burn because of how intense it was over the past hour. Again, this happened around 515 this morning. So here we are at 630. It's been burning for over an hour and 15 minutes uh, so far. There's also uh, another portion of the tanker truck. You can see the wheels uh, of the truck. It's on its side here on the highway. And again, we are reporting about that other vehicle involved. According to that witness that I spoke to, it was a silver Range Rover uh, that was involved in the crash with this tanker truck. According to that witness, the driver of that other car was uh, weaving in and, in and out of traffic, driving erratically and very fast. We want to play that sound from that witness that I just spoke to. He describes what he saw. Hit on the fourth train, which is the dot roll, a dot, and, and jump up a little bit, lost the control because his car was tilted, so swaying to the, to the left. And there was a tanker with a truck, truck driver, and uh, truck started making a scissor. Uh, the tanker itself detached itself, and that the silver Land Rover crashed into the divider. And now back out live, we can tell you that witness told us he is not sure how that driver is doing or the driver of the tanker truck. He said he was not sure if either got out of their vehicle. So we are still working to confirm if there are any injuries associated with this very dramatic wreck here on the 105. Again, this is in Hawthorne. We are just east of Crenshaw Boulevard. And right now, both directions of the 105 freeway are shut down. Add to that the complications with the green line, which runs in the middle of the highway. That has been shut down on this stretch um, as well. So, again, we have LA County Fire on the scene. They are allowing this to burn. And as Scott Reif was mentioning, very toxic at times. We can smell some of that smoke coming from the tanker truck. It does not smell good. That's why we are kind of keeping a distance uh, this morning. Uh, so, we're going to keep you posted, of course, with the very latest and most importantly, try to get some confirmation on any potential injuries associated with this tanker truck fire. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.